Good evening, Hawk families. This is Mr. Hicks coming to you from Hampton Oaks. Um, the day before, well, the day of spring break, we're going in, we just finished school today. We're going into spring break. Just wanted to come to you with a couple things. Um, first, as we move forward with the um, everything going on with the virus, um, I just wanted to do a couple reminders about some things. Um, our building is going to be closed um, from this evening all the way through spring break. Um, we have usually during spring break, I am working and um, every now and then towards the end teachers come in, but we are not doing that this year. Um, the teachers uh, worked really hard today after school to get their areas uh, uh, clean, get their surface areas um, clear, because what's going to happen over spring break is um, they're going to do extensive, extensive, extensive cleaning um, um, to get uh, disinfect, the, especially the surface areas in the rooms um, to make sure when the students do come back that they come back to a clean environment. Um, so that's something that's taking place over break. Um, also, I've sent out several emails um, over the past uh, few weeks, or especially the past week about um, after school activities. As of today, um, after school clubs are still taking place. Um, so that means uh, things such as Soaring Hawks, Reading and Math, G3, um, those type of things. Um, the things that have been canceled are big events, like our multicultural event, which was canceled. That's, that was going to take place tonight, but that has been canceled along with uh, STEAM night, along with Reading night, and so on and so forth. And the reason those things are being canceled um, is because during those events, we have as many as up to 500 to 700 people show up for those events. And also we have several families, um, or a, a lot of families that come in with, um, you know, ex extended family members such as grandparents and so on and so forth. And with the concern about the virus, um, we, we would hate for family members to, to come in to visit our school for something fun, um, member, family members that maybe have um, health conditions and things that could um, potentially be very dangerous for this situation. So all those events have been canceled. Um, and definitely sent out a lot of other emails, uh, folks, about um, how we put out visuals for the kids to wash their hands, how we're taking the extra time during the school day to wash hands, and, and how kids can bring their sanitizers, just don't share. So there's a lot of things we've sent. Um, throughout this week. Uh, so please uh, keep checking your emails throughout the break. Um, one thing the county is doing, and uh, the superintendent sent a letter about this, is to definitely be aware of the resources that will come out. Um, I know the, the central office sent out several mass emails about available resources and so, and so on and so forth that you can access. Um, Students uh, will, should still be able to get on um, Dreambox over break and those type of things we use in addition to our school day if they want to get some practice. Uh, one thing I want to talk to you guys about today is something that um, over break um, you can practice with your children and it's very simple to do. One thing we have here at Hampton Oaks is we have responsive classroom practices and one thing we do after announcements every morning is called community time. During community time, we're teaching students character traits, um, how to work together. Um, we're talking about things we do every day in our house system. So I just want to uh, go over a few things with that because there's a lot of things that you can um, work on at home with your children during spring break. Um, and you can have your own community time where you talk about citizenship and those things. But some important words that we talk about that you can definitely spend um, a few minutes every morning if you want to talk to your uh, children about and I'll talk about the keywords we discuss here at Hampton Oaks. We talk about integrity, we talk about respect, we talk about being relentless, and we talk about kindness. Again, those are four houses and we incorporate those in our uh, morning meetings. So with integrity we talk about students uh, doing the right thing when no one's looking. That is also having being honest with 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 yourself about academics. So if you're struggling in math, um, work through it. Be honest with yourself. Ask your um, families or your teachers for help with math. Um, respect means showing respect to your family and also to teachers and, and folks you come into contact with every day. 
So we talked to students about that. Being relentless um, with behavior and with academics. Um, that means, you know, that's why we're in school. You're going you're gonna to have your struggles, your ups and downs with reading or math. So never giving up. And kindness is something we really focus on um, doing our best. We have our ups and downs with that as well. But being kind to others, if you see a, a student in need or a friend that needs some help, even if you don't know that person, to always help. So those four things, uh, integrity, respect, relentless, and kindness, is something that when the kid, when your children wake up in the morning and you want to have your own morning conversation, um, just like we do here at school, you can talk about those four things. Um, one other thing we talk about is um, our chant we do every morning here at Hampton Oaks. And it goes, I am a hawk, I am honest, I am ambitious, I am worthy, I am kind. So we say that every morning um, in announcement, during announcements. It's e easy for the kids to remember because the first letter of each word is the, uh, the word hawk is there for them to remember, honest, ambitious, worthy, and kind. And when we talk about those words, similar to integrity, honesty, we talk about that as well. Ambitious, when we talk about ambitious with the students, um, we talk about they can, they can be uh, anything they want to be um, or dream how they want to dream and as far as um, something they want to pursue later in life. So be ambitious, go for your goals. Worthy, we talk about that, that everybody that enters our school, um, no matter who they are, is worthy of a, a good, solid education and high expectations. And again, kindness, we already talked about that. So I just wanted to come to you today because of the circumstances with the virus going around. Um, I know it's depending on what happens in the next few days and upcoming weeks, um, I'm sure a lot of people be, will be um, spending more time at home on spring break than normal. So I just want to give you guys some things that you can talk with your um, children about while you're, while you're um, at home. Um, we definitely talk a lot about character traits here, and it's something that takes maybe five or ten minutes at home that you can discuss with your, um, your children on a daily and maybe pick one a day and just talk about that one for a few minutes and give some examples. And then later on in the day when, you're, when your children uh, shows that example, or maybe they have uh, friends over or um, at an activity or something like that, and, and you see one of those traits, just make sure you let them know that that was a good job of showing that. Other than that, um, we had, a, we had a, um, um, a busy day here at Hampton Oaks today. It was the last day before break. We had some students out because um, um, Typically, before spring break, we have kids out that travel and so on and so forth. Um, kids were anxious, but we did, did our best today to really focus on the, the academics um, um, before break because we try to, uh, to uh, emphasize to the kids the importance of um, working hard to the last second and every second counts. With that said, um, I def I'll try to come back to you maybe during break um, uh, if I have anything else. Continue to check uh, Central Office or SCPS uh, website for any additional information. Make sure you continue to check your email daily. Um, look for county updates. And um, again, um, I'm hoping for a safe and healthy um, holiday for all, all of our families and everybody in our community. Um, again, um, I've answered a lot of questions about things going on. So as, as things come up for me as a principal, I will do my best to get the information out to you. Other than that, again, thank you for letting us work with your children, and I hope that you have a really nice spring break and um, a safe one to take care.